Hello friends, welcome to Live's Chat and Stamp with Janie Backer on Inspired Stamping. Today's December 14th and I'm excited to stamp with you today. I have pulled out some designer series paper that I am working with today and thought I would share it with you. I don't know about you, but uh, Christmas card season is winding down um, and I'm a little excited to work with stuff that is new and different. So let me catch up on my Facebook page here and see if my video is live. There it is. So I can find everybody. It is snowing in Boise today and so pretty. Okay, I've stamp, uh, posted in the comments today's little blurb. If you're looking for um, ordering information, it is there. And let me know if you can hear me okay and if you can see the video okay. Let me get, there we go, okay. So hopefully, this is working. So if you're watching on replay, then I really appreciate when you type replay so I know you were here. And if you're here live with me, then go ahead and pop in and say if you love snow or if snow is not your favorite. Um, there's so many reasons I love snow and some of them are just downright practical for pure uh, snow pack for the water in our area and our state. Totally practical and um, necessary. So this beautiful paper that I've laid out here um, is Friendly Hello and you will see this in Celebration that starts on January 4th and oh where is my Celebration? It's under my calendar. So this beautiful little brochure is all the wonderful celebration gifts coming on January 4th and runs through the end of February. If you would like one of these, then please um, give me a shout out on the comments so that I can be sure to get one sent to you in the mail. Or if you live locally, then um, you can do a pickup here at my house. So celebration is something that we offer usually once a year, but this year we transitioned to twice a year. So it's offered in January, February, and then it is offered again in the summertime. And I cannot open it and show it to you until January 4th. So I can show you what I have on hand, and that is this beautiful paper and the Friendly Hello stamp set. These are bundled together and are free with a $100 order in January, which is still a ways off. But keep that in mind for January. Anyway, I am working on what is called swap cards for um, sharing with demonstrators across the country. And these um, beautiful papers have all sorts of colors and prints and um, just really, really pretty and fun. We got the Fresh Freesia. We have Petal Pink. Um, Pool Party. And Granny Apple Green. Aren't those fun? And then all of the um, multicolor prints. Whoops, where are they? It's like playing the memory game. These two are, um, well it's hard to see on this one, but there's multiple colors in these three prints. Whereas these are just um, pr uh, solid colors of, are in colors. Anyway, cute and fun, aren't they? So that's what's on my table today, but let me show you what we're going to make today. Because it's the end of the year, it's time for calendars. And I personally love having a little calendar on my desk. And so we are going to 
take our beautiful Ever Eden Designer Series paper, and I've cut two card fronts for this. And I'm going to use Inspired Thoughts as my stamp. I really like the You Make a Difference Every Day, and I think that's a great sentiment to put on my calendar to um, encourage me each day. And get my little mini tear-off calendar ready. Okay, so let me know, should I do the white background or the soft succulent background paper? Which paper would you pick? Sorry about my math that I wrote on my table here. I, I should have got a new good paper out. Let's see. I have... I have a sample with this one, so we're going to go with the white background, and then I can show you my samples afterwards. And I'm going to teach you how to cut the layers. So let me get my Stampin' Trimmer out and put it here on the table. We are going to do a layer of a soft succulent, so it's cut at five and a quarter inches by four. So my designer series paper layer is five inches by three and three quarters so that it has that beautiful margin all the way around. And let's go ahead and... Oh, I have one layer already. It is five and a quarter. Nope, sorry, 11 inches long and four and a quarter wide. And go ahead and fold it right there on that score line. I'm going to use my Evening Evergreen ink to coordinate with my Evening Evergreen base to stamp my sentiment. So see I tap, tap, tap all around there and then stamp it right here on my basic white cardstock. And then I close my ink and wipe my stamp off so that I don't make a mess. Okay, so this is how my layers are looking at this point. And I'm going to grab my Everyday Label Punch and I'm gonna be sneaky and punch a layer out of this middle layer that nobody's going to miss or know. And then grab my way back in the back. Label me love, fancy, label me fancy punch. This is why we stamp first and then we line it up here and punch Right there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my green glue and adhere this layer. Now the middle is got that big hole in it, so I'm not going to put <laughs> glue down in the that area where it's going to get through. I love glue because I can just slide this and get the edges lined up nice and square. 
for a beautiful margin all the way around. And I'm feeling like making this a little extra fancy. I, I did not do this on my samples, but I think you might appreciate some ribbon. So this paper is exclusive for this month only, and every sheet has gold foil on it. So let me give you a little peek. Um, there's three of the patterns. There's the fourth pattern. A fifth pattern. And I'm pretty sure I have another one in here. I don't think I have I used them all up. I mean, I have had a good time using this paper. There it is. This one. So you have two white backgrounds, two soft succulent backgrounds, and two that are the evening evergreen backgrounds. Let me move these more down onto the camera. Okay. So this Ever Eden Designer Series Specialty Designer Series paper is number 159996. And it is available while supplies last. So pretty. It's basic white, evening evergreen, soft succulent, and gold. Just so pretty. So let me get these organized a little better. So there's our two that are soft succulent, two that are evening evergreen, two have basic white backgrounds, and then we flip them over. And you can see these beautiful backsides. This is an ombre. It's a great leaf pattern. Just different graphic prints. Hi, Carolyn. Welcome. It's so fun to have you join from all the way across the world. And these are great, too. I love the um, prints in these. Okay, so Ever Eden Designer Series paper. After Once it sells out, it's gone. So don't, um, don't wait. So I'm going to grab gold ribbon. I've got my gold shimmer ribbon, and I'm sorry, this has been unavailable to order it sold out a while ago but they are bringing it back in the holiday catalog next year so that is good I like to tie my bows while it's attached to the spool because there's less waste that way so as you can see I'm turning my ribbon so they lay flat and then I put my pinky on the knot and get my loop adhered and this gives you a really efficient tidy bow <laughs> you can see my loop and my tail are not super long um, which is okay and then I just keep pulling and fussing and adjusting until I get it just the way I want it and then I grab my exclusive ribbon scissors to cut a nice diagonal slash like that. Okay, so let's check our layout. Grab our calendar, our bow, and our pretty sentiment. Okay, I think this is gonna look nice. Next, I need my dimensionals here for my caddy. Oh goodness, my camera's having a hard time figuring out where to focus. I'm sorry, my arms got in the way and the focus changed. So, hopefully it's showing up again. So Carolyn, does it snow where you live? I'm guessing it does. 
We're having a beautiful day of snow turning to rain. I'm going to, since this is on my desk, I'm going to go ahead and use layers of dimensionals. Whoops. I grabbed the backing, but not the dimensional. Pull it up. There we go. Okay, so get my bow. Now I'm going to add some liquid glue there on our ribbon. Our snow probably won't last for long because it it's like 36 degrees here and I don't know how that converts to Celsius. Um, but it freezes at 32. Oh, my sentiment's going to stick to my hand. All right, so we have this layer adhered and you just need to hold it, the ribbon area wants to be a bump and not adhere. So you just hold it down in place. So it clings. Hello, Miss Betsy. Oh my goodness. Did you have horrible wind last night, Betsy? The wind was just wild. So I'm going to tuck this up higher under that bow there. And I'm gonna use glue on my calendar. There we go. Okay, so this is two and three quarters inches wide and to measure three inches high. I scored it at half an inch from either end and at one and a half inch, which is right in the center there. Oh, you lost some roofing. Well, yeah, you did get some wind. Okay, so then we're going to open this up, and I'm going to use my tear and tape for a nice, strong hold. And each of these flaps are going to get some tear and tape. like that and it's I think really helpful to grab your bone folder and press it down so that adhesive really binds to your cardstock and then I like to use my take a pick tool to just poke right under that paper backing and pull it off and then I line it up just a bit above the edge there. Oops, my lid's gonna roll away. And then repeat with this side. And then I just press this down right over. And that is the little stand so that it doesn't get slouchy and slide flat, that it stands up as it ought to. Hopefully, is that showing up on the camera? There we go. So, I'm going to add some sparkle from the wonderful gems that have the gold toned, um, they're kind of clear and yet they have the gold glitter in there. They're really pretty. So I'm going to put one here. Nope, you over there. And one. 
off center to the under day and grab another one to go over there. So it kind of um, complements the bow just like that. Okay, so here are some other ones that I have made with uh, my stamp club. And sorry, I don't know if my camera's dirty or why. Sorry, I'm gonna just wipe my blends. It just seems like it's very out of focus or fuzzy. Okay, hopefully that will make it clearer. <laughs> um, and then here is, let's see you can see the calendar. So these have a thick basic white base and we used an evening evergreen layer and then used evening evergreen as the background label. So you can see I mixed it up a little bit with today's design and stepped it up with adding ribbon. I used different embellishments on these. It's all the same basic design idea, but then you can see how you can take it um, with different colors, X accents, and different embellishments as you like. So that is uh, my project for today, a little desk calendar that will stand up nice and be sturdy all year long, all 12 months to remind you you make a difference every day. Um, when you choose to be kind, when you choose to be patient, when you choose to be generous. Um, every day we have a choice and you can make a difference in somebody's life every day. So I hope this encourages you and I hope you have a Merry Christmas and that um, you have a wonderful week and I'll see you again next Tuesday, which will be my last live stamp and chat with Janie for this year. Um, I will be here on the 21st, and then um, hubby is going to have surgery on the 22nd, and so I'm going to take some time off to take care of him, because we're going to have um, probably some sleepless nights while we get him comfortable and recovered. It's just he needs to get some repairs on his shoulder. It's not something super um, serious. That's what I'm trying to say. Not it, Well, it is serious because it's painful, but... Um, his health is not at risk. That's what I'm trying to say. We're just going to get him fixed up so he's more comfortable. And um, I'm so glad you joined me today. Okay, you all have a great day. Bye-bye.